Session resume. Distinguished Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, Your Honor, our parliamentary status is that we have declared the privilege hour. Mr. Speaker, the next of our colleagues who wishes to avail of the privilege hour is the gentleman from the 3rd District of Camarines Sur. I move that we recognize the Honorable Gabriel Bordado. So move, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor. Representative Gabriel H. Bordado is hereby recognized. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I am a new fight representative from the 3rd District of Camarines Sur. Ang pinanggalingan po ng dating kinatawan at ngayon Vice President Lenny Herona Robredo. After listening to President Rodrigo Roa Duterte's first ever State of the Nation address during the inaugural session of the 17th Congress last July 25 and the erudite argumentations propounded by some of our brilliant colleagues during the two succeeding sessions, I mustered enough courage to avail myself of this privileged hour. I rejoiced when the President declared his firm resolve to intensify the crusade against the purveyors of illegal drugs and to overhaul the Philippine railway system, among other things. Indeed, the drug menace is systematically destroying the very foundation of our nation. We must, by all means, support the President to nip the menace in the bud. However, Mr. Speaker, the spate of killings in recent days has triggered pained and alarmed reactions from various sectors. In fact, right here in the House, I was riveted to the compelling discourses on the matter last night. There is a need, I believe, Mr. Speaker, to raise the alarm, so to speak. I am therefore appealing to our President and to the outstanding legal minds in Congress to put in place systems and mechanisms aimed at protecting the innocent and the helpless without necessarily affecting the momentum and the traction of the current all-out war against illegal drugs. As for the national railway system, the President's call for an overhaul is definitely a step in the right direction. For decades, the economic development of my region, Bicol, had been, as pointed out by my Kahimanwa, the very intelligent and articulate representative Ed Selagman of Albay, dependent in no small measure, Mr. Speaker, on an efficient and effective railway system. Yet, despite the millions of pesos poured into its rehabilitation, the Philippine National Railways, Mr. Speaker, seems to have been trapped in a veritable limbo. That is why in Bicol, some critics say that the PNR stands for Perminang Raot, or as roughly translated in English, in a perpetual state of disrepair. Meanwhile, Mr. Speaker, I commend President Duterte for walking the extra mile, as Secretary Duresa puts it. Although there was a misstep on the part of Duresa, as some quarters aver, this, not, this must not deter the President from continuing to pursue all avenues and leeways to end 
once and for all what is supposed to be Asia's longest running insurgency problem. Let's all give peace of the living, to use the President's own words, a fighting chance. Mr. Speaker, I belong to the majority and I wish to reiterate my position of supporting President Duterte's administration in the Herculean task of nation building through the crafting of legislative measures in conformity with the President's development agenda as spelled out in the SONA. This does not, however, Mr. Speaker, preclude me from voicing out from time to time concerns regarding the issues affecting the nation in general and my district in particular. Mr. Speaker, I am sure that under your leadership, under the leadership of Speaker Alvarez, we will continue having an open and healthy exchange of ideas in this House, regardless of political affiliations. To paraphrase the famous remarks of a nation leader, let a thousand flowers bloom. Let a hundred schools of thought contend to promote progress and peace of the living in our beloved nation. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Distinguished Majority Leader. Mr. Speaker, I move that we refer the speech of the Honorable Bordado to the Committee on Rules. So moved, Mr. Speaker, Your Honor. Any objection? The Chair. Hearing none, the speech of the Honorable Bordado is directed to be referred to the Committee on Rules.